<laughs> Share this. Hey, it's that time of the week again. Uh, we are doing, well, we started off doing sandwiches, but somehow I ended up with chicken enchiladas. Uh, Jill was having the eggplant and Rob was having the, uh, the Reuben. But Jill said she wanted half of the Reuben, so we switched. They got half and half with sweet potato fries with the chipotle dipping sauce, which that combination, the sweet potato fries, yeah. oh, it's so good. Anyway, to cut the spiciness of the enchilada, and the, I, I, I hate to call it spiciness of the Reuben. And salty. Yeah, Maybe salty, salty. salty. And just to go with the eggplant, that we chose, we chose the Riesling. Um, a lot of people are afraid of Rieslings. They're not afraid, but they just go, oh, they're too sweet. But they're not. And when you mix them with the right food, it's really a nice combination. So this is the A to Z that we're gonna, Jill's gonna talk about first while she has a bite of the Reuben. So, take it away, Jill. <laughs> so, you know we love Rieslings around here and I keep trying to introduce you all. And we've actually done some A to Z wine before, but it's been a while. So I thought, let's do it again. And as I said, this cuts the saltiness and the spiciness of that pastrami on the Reuben. So A to Z was started, it's from Oregon, it was started in 2002 by four people who were already titans in the wine industry. Someone from Erie, Domaine Joanne, Chehelum, and Archery Summit. Summit. I mean, great winery. So these four people got together, started A to Z. A to Z, for, it's been known for its Pinot and the Pinot Gris and the Riesling. Pinot Noir has been in the top 100 in Wine Spectator a few times. The Pinot Gris is terrific. And the Riesling is not cloyingly sweet. It just has the perfect amount of sweetness to really go with the, both the Reuben and the green chili of the burrito or enchilada that Weldon is having. There's good acidity, it's bright, it's light, it's easy to drink, it has low alcohol, and I just try it. It's it's delicious with so many foods. It is, and, and, and most Rieslings are dry, drier <clears throat> nowadays. They're not, like she said, they're not cloying sweet. If you're ever sitting at a dinner table and in a restaurant and you're not sure what you're gonna eat or what wine to order, but the, the waiters there are being impatient, uh, order a glass of Riesling just to tide you over until the bottle yeah. of whatever it is you're having with your meal comes. Now this has a touch of sweetness. It's not dry, 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 but that's good because we want a touch of sweetness with what we're having today. With both of these, yeah. So this is the A to Z and it's delicious. Yeah. Um, stay with us. We're going to move over to a, a totally different, from A to Z, yeah. a totally different yeah. wine. We'll be right back. So, He's not gonna answer. Jill is actually calling the, the, rep. the rep for our next wine because we're not really sure of the pronunciation. Is it Jadix or is it Jadi? And you don't pronounce the X. We're just not sure. We're just not sure. He's not answering. He saw it was her calling, so he's not answering. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Did she just flip me off? <laughs> no. Okay, we're back. We've pretty, Jill is nibbled. We've pretty much f finished our meal, but we're, we're on to this. <clears throat> Jill just learned that J-I-D-I-J-A-D-I-X is Jadis. Jadis. Dot Jadis uh, in French. Um, and we're doing that, and this is just the exact opposite from the Riesling. It's very dry, uh, but it's not, the, the tannins are affecting my mouth like a really dry, dry wine, which is interesting. Well, there might be less tannins too, because you remember the tannins come from the skins and the seeds, uh -huh. and if they take them out pretty quickly, you won't get as much tannin. Ah. So they might do that. Well, that explains but that. We are actually having a peak pool 
So Pikbu is a very ancient grape from the Languedoc, which is actually also the name of an appellation in the Languedoc. So there is actually a Pikbu de Panay in the Languedoc, and it's the name of the grape. And we're doing it because most people don't know Pikbu. It's, it's just not that popular, there's not that much, not that many people make it, but it's a very cool Mediterranean style, dry, crisp, lovely, easy to drink grape, um, lovely to drink wine. Again, just like the Riesling, it's only 12% alcohol, which we love. We're kind of looking for sometimes a little bit less. So this is from Jadix, which is a lovely winery discovered by the people who own Aquitaine who import some of the best wines in our portfolio. But Peak Pool, I actually have a Peak Pool by the glass over at Geronimo, and I didn't think it was gonna sell, and people are discovering it and really liking it. It's because it's, it's a, a nice, some, dry, dry wine, but it's still got body and some flavor to it as opposed to just being dry. So this has pear, little green apple, citrus, as we always say, good minerality and acidity. Mm -hmm. And I had a quick bite of this, the back, so you can't see it. And it goes great with the um, the pesto and the eggplant sandwich. Pesto, Because it yeah, goes great yeah. with the pesto. Yeah. So, cool little wine. And these wines are not that expensive. I think I have it at Coco Me, and I'll look tomorrow when I go. But very reasonable. So, Peak Pool by Jadis. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What's coming up? What do we got going on in the next few weeks? Anything exciting? Well, uh, we are having dinner with the infamous Johnny V. We're actually learning how to cook lobster at Las Cosas in De Vargas Mall. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. It'll his, be great fun. His cooking class. We yeah, his cooking up. class. So yeah, we're excited. Yeah, something yeah. different. Yeah, the two of us and so, Rob will be there too. <laughs> and we'll bring some cool wines that go with lobster. Exactly, exactly. Thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you next time.